that's not too bad then, is it? I mean, we definitely got find a way of bringing it back. I agree, George. I agree. I mean, going over this now, I know we still got three months left, technically. Maybe, a, yeah, it's about three months. Oh, it's bloody three months. Three months. What still needs doing? Well, slurry. We need to empty the slurry out. All the muck's gone. Well, I remember you doing that. Yeah, all the muck's gone, but the slurry... Slurry needs empty, mate. Oh, right then, bloody hell, fire. Oh, well, it is what it bloody is and all that. Yeah, we'll get it sorted. We'll get it sorted. Well, well you're gonna have to do it, aren't you? I will, I'll do, mate. Listen, lay off, bloody hell, fire. I've got enough on as it is. You know that. Oh well, when we got that bloody farm and I let you live in that house, I told you straight away, didn't I? That we got when we give it back in March. We need to make sure there's no slurry and no muck. Now you've done a good job getting rid of the muck. Yeah. Uh, and you shifted all that separated muck. Oh, that reminds me, we need to turn that back on. It's always getting a bit full. All right, and I'll do it when I get there. Ah, uh, but remember, that slurry in there's got to go. And if we've got some on farm, you can do a bit. But I'd focus on doing that first. All right, and George, I'll do it. And then we got Buddy figure out a way of getting that uh, silage back. Well, we need it. We're about... I'd say we're just over halfway through it. Oh, which is great news, because it means we've got enough. And that's, that was before the main problem, wasn't it? Yeah, we definitely got enough. Definitely. Uh, just need to find a place to store it. I don't know where we're going to put it, George, on farm. Like, I've tried to figure it out myself. The only place I can think of is what we spoke about, but Beanie's not going to be happy with that. Uh, I know, I know, I know. And I don't want to do that, but to be honest, and this might sound a bit harsh, but I'm just going to say it. Yeah, I know what you're going to say. Ah, uh, that's only because you don't bloody say it. Well, of course not, George. You know, I think the world of Beanie, you know I'm not going to do anything like that. I know, but it's the truth. The bloody truth is, it's a working farm, right? We're here to make money. We're a dairy farm. We do some pig breeding. And I employ her. Now, I'll let her have the horses on this farm, and it's not a bloody issue. I don't mind at all. But when push comes to shove, if I need the space for me cow's feed, that takes priority. Now, I will help her out, you know that, always. I'll, I'll love the girl, and I'll do anything for her. And if it means I have to help her financially, put, put these horses in some stables, I'll do it. But right now, we need to find a solution. And from what I can see, the only shed that's got some bloody space in is the one we've both been thinking of. Well... You're going to have to mention it to her then, aren't you, at least? I will, I will. If you bloody check it out, I don't want to ruin your bloody date nights, do I? <laughs> I don't know. Just it just doesn't sit right, you know. She's had that area since well since forever really. I know, I know, mate, I know. And she's got a phone now as well. Ah, uh, I bloody know ah. Uh. Anyway, right, that's that difficult bit done. We at least we know first steps, we've got three months of doubt, but get that story shifted for me. Yeah I will. I'm not gonna have a chance to do that today. Well, I know you're not. I know you're busy. I know, I know. You made promises. Uh, are we still... Are we still going to look at that house? I'd like to, yeah. I want, I want to know what you think of it. Well, I, I want to see it, definitely. It sounds bloody awesome, I'll be honest. Uh, you've done well far on that. Still surprised why you didn't tell me, though. Well, I didn't want it to... To be honest, George, it was something that me and Beanie wanted to decide. Well, it was my call. I just, I just wanted to decide with Beanie first and then... I only told Ross because, you know, I'm relying on him, aren't I? I understand, I understand. He's buying your land, you know, you can't do it without that. No, I'd like to look at it. I want to know where it is. It's a nice area, George. A bit further, but it's not an issue. We can both still get work in the morning. Well, I bloody hope so. <laughs> you want bloody hell, find another farm, man. It took me ages to get you to fall in line. <laughs> right, are you coming down? Yeah, I'll come down. We'll have a look around and we'll, we'll try to come up with a plan, eh? All right, right. See you in a bit. Are you sure everything's all right up there? Everything's fine, George. Honestly, uh, uh, just so you know, I've finished off all the sugar beets. All uh, right, all right. Have we got any on our farm? No, I finished them off there as well. We had a small amount left here, and then a tiny amount there, so I've just finished off both. So there's none. There's none at all. The only thing we've got now is the silage, some hay, and a bit of straw. We've also got that backup silage and bales down at the bottom. Uh, I probably should take one of them soon, just check it out. You know, they've been there a while. Well, they will. They want to go bad, though, will they? Well, eventually they bloody will, ah, but not yet. All right, and well, I'll head down now and we'll have a good look around. 
Well, all right. See you in a bit. See you, mate. <sighs> I'll let him tell Beanie. Definitely not going to fall for that. <laughs> that is, uh, uh, it's not my job, that isn't. That's his. We'll have to figure it out. I mean, we'll have to. We'll have to. I mean, part of me thinks that's why she works on the farm. I know it's a good job for her, but... She likes looking after the pigs and the calves, but... The main reason is she's near her horses, and... That's how it's been from day one. And to stop that, that's, uh, that's a big call. George is going to have to be the one make that, not me. <laughs> I don't know. Guess we'll find out, see what she thinks. Hello? Hey up, mate? Hey up, Jerry, you alright? Oh, I'm alright, yeah, yeah, I'm really good. Uh, Rossi just told me that you're heading down today, help us out, finish off. I should be, yeah, that's the plan. Alright then, well, uh, I just wanted to know if you want to do a job for me then. Uh, can do. What, what do you mean? With, with, uh, the clearing out? Ah, uh, yeah, not, not for me, like, for, for Ross, but in, you know, what we're doing. Yeah, I'm happy to do that. That's what I'm there for. What are you thinking? Right, well, we've done quite a lot since you were last year, to be honest. We've levelled off the ground quite well, but he's bought some gravel. Okay. Now, I've got a truck, but we need to go and pick up the gravel and kind of like trips. There's so many loads we need to get. You know what I mean? I think I get you. we got a truck, you got to collect the gravel and so many trips. Oh, then if you drop it off... I'll be in the digger and I'll shift it out around, you know, to where he's where he planning on having it. He's, we've done a cracking job with this. I guess he helps and he's buying it. Is he buying it now? Well, has he not said to you? No, he never mentioned anything. I told him, I rang him up yesterday and told him about the price I got back from me having the valuation done. But I haven't heard even off, off him from that yet. No, yeah, the, yeah he's, he's buying it. He spoke to the pub and everything, and they're willing to sell it. They don't even use it, so that's why he's willing to do all this extra work to it. Yeah, it. Makes sense, makes sense. I know we spoke about it before, but no, we never set out. Oh, well, well, you know now anyway. <laughs> I, hope you know, I hope it wasn't no bloody secret. <laughs> I don't think so. Not much secret about it, really, is there? Well, not now, but he told you. <laughs> that's true. All right, and so what you're saying is you want me to get in truck? Ah, uh, you're right driving his truck. Yeah, I'm all good for that. Got it all sorted now. I did that in the past with George. All right, then, well... Yeah, well, truck's here, yeah? I'm heading up in a minute. Well, I'll be a bit later. I've got to do a few things first. No, that's fine. I've got to wait for Ross. He said he's uh, busy on his yard, but I just thought I'd go up and have, uh, you know... Why not, you know, pub lunch? Yeah, pub lunch, mate. Good way to start the day off. Ah, uh, that's it, ah. Uh. Well, I'm all done down my end, so yeah, I'll be down there. I'll meet you... Right, and then you do that for me and I'll sort out the digger work. All right, and Jerry, spot on with me. OK, well, I'll see you later on then. See you, Jerry. Bye. Yeah, I'm driving a truck, eh? I can do that. Right, let's go find George. I want to know what's going on with Keith as well. The eyes door's shut. Great, George. Barbara, oh, you leave that bloody door open. Put a shoe there. Why? Well, it keeps bloody short in. It's windy today. Oh, I'm not putting a shoe there. Put a bloody shoe there. I'll put a shoe in your gob in a minute. <laughs> bloody hell. Right, there you go. Shoe's holding the door open. You happy now? Well, I'm happy now. I just hope the shoe don't stink or else, you know, with the wind, but might put a breeze in. <laughs> Smelly shoe breeze. I know you like a good breeze game for your house, but you don't want one that smells like a smelly shoe, do you? <laughs> no, I don't know if it's one of your shoes. God help us all. Tell you. Ah, oh, we'll all be dying in here. Dying. <laughs> Not that bad. Anyway, are we are we ready to crack on? Ah, oh, give me a second. Bloody hell. Let me finish this brew. No rush. Well, there is. I've got to get out, you know. We've got to go see that house. Well, we can go any time, you said. No one in it now. No, I know, but it's still... They're not living there, but there's still some bits there. And it's still not my house, is it? 
Well, I know what. I haven't even put a bloody offer in, George. I know, but you said there's no one in. And you spoke to the state agents and he said at any point we can go have a look, just won't be able to go in the house. I know, I'm just, just think, you know, I've got other things to do. You want me to walk around the farm, try to figure out this problem, and then I've got Ed off out, Jerry and bloody Ross out, you know that. Oh, I know, how's he getting on? Well, from the sounds of it, they're doing a good job. Hey, you just told me, Jerry has, that Ross is buying it. What, your, your land? No, well, I hope so, but no, that's not what he said. He said the buy, he's buying that, you know, patch behind the pub. <laughs> well, that's bloody good then. Well, we said it was a good idea. Well, it sounds like he's doing it now. Well, that's all right then. Good on Ross, eh? Well, yeah. Got to drive a truck for him. <laughs> bloody hellfire. Let me know the hours you're on the road so I can stay off. <laughs> Will do. Right, come on then. I've bloody finished. All right, what do you want to talk to me about first? Well, first, we need to go turn that separator on. All right. Oh, it's a nice day, isn't it, for December? Oh, it's not bad. It's not bad. Ah, uh, sun's coming out later as well. Clouds supposed to break up. Well, don't look too bad already, really. I know you said that. <laughs> right, we got to figure out where we're putting this silage because we need it for cows. Well, I don't know, George. I don't know. Well, first off, right, let's be honest. This shed, we've got it split in two. We've got storage equipment in half, and then we've got bales and feed in the other. Yeah, that's the way it's always been, George. Ah, right, and it's worked. But right now, till we fill that bunker up, we're, we're lacking space. So really, you know, we've got enough room in here for bales and everything like that. I mean... Even though we're not actually getting through them that quick. Well, I'm trying, mate. We just made some big bales this year. Quite a lot to them. Oh, I know, I know. I know, I'm just saying. Oh, I can see they've all gone, haven't they? Yeah, they've all gone. Told you. Used them up, mate. All oh, right, well, I'll get some ordered in. Bloody hell. Might be. I'm just trying to think how we're going to get them bloody in here. <laughs> You'll have to try and get a truck that can reverse all the way back. Not tip too much. <laughs> Or uh, if not, I'll scoop them down there. But yeah, uh, I don't know what we're going to do. We need a shed. What, another one? What to build? Ideally, ah, uh, we get a shed. And then, you know, this won't be a bloody issue. Get a shed for feed and we could, we could then use this other section of this shed, you know, to store our proper equipment in. Well, we, what about that one over there? Ah, uh, and we got that too then. Bloody hell. I don't know, mate. You have to figure that out, aren't you? Ah, oh, I know, and it always costs bloody money, doesn't it? Hey, you go get a tractor. What now? What for? That trailer there, you can put it right underneath that separator. Makes life a lot easier. All right, and I'll go get it before we turn it on. Give me a sec. Ah, oh, hurry up. Dear, hurry up. Dear, fire. Ah. Uh. I don't know what he wants to actually do. Like, where's where's he going to build this shed? We haven't got the space, Rotos, and he's only just finished building a bloody shed. Don't get me wrong, it was needed. Much better for the cows, that is. Pick a pile and everything, I get it. But, you know, putting a shed somewhere, it's not like we've got space for it, unless... I don't know, unless we dig in something, but... God knows. I think either way, Beanie ain't going to be happy, is she? That's it, come on. Chill out, George. Right, hurry up, we haven't got all day. <laughs> Back to his normal self. Bit more. Ah, oh, that'll do. That'll do. Spot on, that is spot on. Right, dinner on them. All right, um. Right, dinner on. She's on. Ah, oh, it's working. Sound. It was the job done it that? Well, it's spot on, that is me. Spot on. Ah, uh, right, come on, that's all good. Cows are fine. I've checked the slurry, like I said, and he's empty, and that muck's not too bad over there. Yeah, well, I want to get out in that slurry, with that slurry tanker anyway, so I'm, yeah, I'm proper up for that. Well, we've got bloody time to do it now, instead of faffing about doing that field for Keith. Hey, it's all done, that is now. He'll appreciate that. When is Keith coming out anyway? You never told me. 
Oh, well, I want to know bloody same. I'm going to go see him later on, but hopefully soon. But only when it's time's right. Yeah, I understand that. I'm not trying to rush. Just, just want to see him, that's all. Uh, well, he'll be out soon. All right, mate. So that shed we've got to keep as it is. It's workshop, you know, keep harvester in there and everything. Well, this is what I was thinking, you know. This over here, if we open it up, is perfect. Yeah, but what? George, she's, she's cleaned it out and everything. She takes pride in it. She's got her horse in here as well. I, I know, mate, I know. I'm just saying a perfect shed to put some silage in for the meantime. Ah, uh, it's true. It's time of year as well, isn't it? Yeah, winter months keeping the horses outside. It's just not going to happen, is it? No, and that's why I'm thinking maybe I could speak to Beanie and she might be on moving for us. You know, just for the meantime. That's all. Well, you're going to have to ask her now. Look, she's there. Oh, bloody hell. You do bloody land me in it, don't you? I'm just saying. Well, right, Beanie. I'm all right, George. Are you? I'm all right, yep, yep. How are you getting on? Not bad at all. Everything's going good on my side. Oh, that's all right then, love. Well, happy for you. <clears throat> ah, bloody shut up, Scroff. Everything all right? Uh, hey, Beanie. Yeah? We may all come to me later on in the house and we have a quick chat about horses because I've got a bit of a problem and I think you might be able to help me figure it out. Okay, no problem. When I'm done, I'll come into you. Uh, well, thinking about it, I've got to go see Keith. I'm going with, with Scroff see that house you, you've been looking at. Uh, so later on in the evening, if you're still here. If not, don't worry about it. Just come to me next time, even if it's tomorrow. All right then, George. That's fine with me. Ah, uh, thanks, love. No worries. You're bloody happy now. <laughs> yeah, but you kind of just pushed it to another day. Oh, uh, well. I think it was best to have a proper chat about it instead of just outside like this. What about this here, George? Oh, no, uh, bloody battered that is inside. Why don't you knock that down and put a shed there? Oh, I could do. Yeah, I could do, couldn't I? Well, it's an option. It is an option. Uh, it's just doing it. I'm not going to be able to do it in chat time, though. We've got three months to get this silage in. We just need to find a spot that's undercover that we can put the silage in. Well... I don't know what to say to you, George. My, like, if it was me right now and this is my farm, I'd put some of the equipment outside. What, over winter? Yeah, I'd have to. I'd have to make space and then put some of it outside. Oh, bloody hell, I don't want to do that, but I get what you're saying. Well, that's the only thing I can think of. Yeah, just put it outside for a bit. All right. And then maybe, you know, I'd look at knocking this down so it just doesn't take up space and a decent shed there and then you know if I ever need some more storage I've got it oh yeah that's true that's true right are we going to go have a look at this house and get that done yeah so I can go and help out Ross and then what ah right has he told you if he's buying it yet no he ain't got back to me at all oh bloody hell he should do shouldn't he I hope so ah he will do right come on mate ah right, ready when you are it's too far away. It's a bit more of a drive, though. Well, it don't matter. It's a damn kill. Got to go see Keith later on, and then... Ah, oh, that's pretty much it for me, then. Yeah, well, I'm back after and... Wait for tomorrow. <laughs> Why? What's happening tomorrow? Nothing. Just, you know, today's done. Wait for tomorrow. <laughs> All right, then. Uh, I might go this way. Well, whatever way's quicker. You'll, you'll know where we're going as soon as you've seen it. Oh, uh, right. Hey, buddy, how was that there? I don't know. The workshop? Might be. <laughs> bloody hell, don't tell Ross, there might be another mechanic here. <laughs> right, this is it. What, that house there? Yeah, that's the one. Oh, bloody hell. Don't pull up then. Yeah, I will do. Well, there's a car there, George. Well, did she say you could come any time, state agent? I'll right, we'll just pull up here then. Shouldn't be too bad, should it? Nah, it wouldn't be bad. 
Just can't go inside. Ah, oh, no, you bloody told me three times. Right. This is the house. Oh, bloody hell. Nice spot, isn't it? Little stream underneath. Oh, I like it, mate. I do. Bloody hell, fire. Ah, oh, what a first do, mate. I know. Detached and everything. Oh, bloody hell, fire. Don't know about that, ain't. What is it? Three bed? Yeah, three bed. Oh, not bad at all, mate. Let's have a look round back then. Nice little garden. Have some barbecues there, couldn't we? <laughs> yeah, definitely. Sounds perfect, mate. But this is the best part. Look at this. Hurry. Oh, bloody hell, fire. This is what you were telling me about, eh? Storing your stuff. Yeah, this is the plan. Now I can drive it. It's, it's not too bad here. It looks sturdy enough. It's not like it's going to cause any problems long term. No, a bit bloody. A bit messy, though, isn't it? Well, it's obviously used, George. Can't, can't get anything fancy, can I? No, I know. I'm just saying. Big size shed, though. Store a lot in here. To be honest, all I want to do is put my equipment in. And in the moment, it's making me think of. Imagine if Ross wants to buy it straight away. Gets it finalised. I've got to find a. I've got to find a spot. Put them. Well, you can always put them on. You know, the other farm for a bit. Whilst you know, you got till March, so it's a few months. Yeah, I'll probably do that. To be honest. Uh, no, no, it's not. I like it, mate. It's good size. It's good size. A lot of storage. You can fit what you've got here. Exactly, and you know. Could even start me a little mini contracting thing over here. <laughs> what the hell have you got time for that? <laughs> Not at the moment, but if things quieting down a bit, you know, with Keith and Jerry, and you never know what happens then. At least I've got a spot for all my stuff. Oh, that's true. Yeah, I like it, mate. You've got a lot of space at the back. Might need re at some point. You've got a lot of damage to it, but it's a nice size shed. Looks sturdy enough, doesn't it? No, no walls in the roof, which is always a bonus. No. Yeah. Just weathered, innit? Just worn and, you know, been outside. Ah, oh, it's been outside. Bloody as it's a shed. <laughs> I like it, mate. I really do. I think it's really nice. And if you and Beanie get this, I think you'll, I think you'll be really happy. Here. Well, yeah, I've got my kind of little outdoor area. Be me and Beanie have got our own home, and ah, I think it's perfect. And you look at the distance there. Oh, uh, well, that looks familiar. Is that? That ain't Keith's, is it? Yeah, that's Keith's farm. Oh, bloody hell. I know where you are now. You're out behind, aren't you? Yeah, I told you. It's not too far. It's just, just a weird way to get to it. There's no direct road to you to yours. I mean, we can find a way to drive across the fields, I would. Oh, bloody hell. I don't think they're all mine, though. <laughs> no, they're not yours. Right, well, let's head off then. I, I like that. I think uh, you've picked a good house there. I hope you get it. Yeah, me too. And if you don't, well... As long as you're out of our march, it doesn't matter to me. <laughs> Thanks, George. Well, I'm bloody being true. it cost me a fortune, if not. No, <laughs> don't worry, mate. I'll be out. Hurry. Hurry. Might be able to take a bit of a shortcut here. Well, bloody hell, be careful. Do you know where we're going? Don't like this. It's getting off road. Oh, bloody hell, fire. Where are you going? I th I'm sure I can cut across there. Maybe up to Keith's. Oh, bloody hell, Scroft. Make sure you know what you're doing. Well, there's only one way to find out. Ah, <laughs> oh, bugger it. Let's do it. Uh, honestly, Scroft, I really like it. Nice one, mate. I hope I get it. Well, oh, well. As soon as Ross gets back to you, I guess, you can figure out next steps. Yeah, I know. Hopefully he'll ring me today. Ah, he will. You'll see him anyway later, won't you? Yeah, I'll see him. Well, that's a reap then. That's a reap. Right, well, I'll let you crack on. I'll ring up about that uh, sugar beets. I'll get some, some info for us. All right, mate. No worries. Uh, also... Yeah? That Collinson's bin that we were on about, I rang them up and got a, well, I got a good idea of what we're going to do and where we're going to put it, so they're going to have to come out first and have a look, but I think I've picked the right bin, size for us, and yeah, should be going up soon. Well, that's great news. It's great news. Maybe be able to store some, some additive in there or whatever. Ah, that's it. 
Right, you're heading off, man. Uh, I'm going to wait. I'm going to wait now. Just figure out what to do first. I'm sure Ross told me he was pick. Oh, I had to go pick him up, so I need to wait for him anyway. So um, I'll give him a call, actually. All right, mate. Right, well, if I don't see you later on, I'll see you tomorrow. No worries, George. Let me know about Keith if you're out, if he's heading back soon, because I want to, you know, just see if he's all right. I want to say hello to him. All right, will do. See you in a bit. See you, mate. Right, so let's give... I'll tell you what, let's give Ross a call just so we can figure out what we're doing. And then where I'm going. I'm sure he said I was picking him up. Hello? Hey up, mate. Hey up. Oh, buddy, I'm really sorry I forgot to ring you. Yeah, what for? Ah, uh, well, I wanted to let you know. i tell you what, are you still picking me up? Yeah, whenever you're ready. I'm ready now, if you are. And Jerry rang me earlier on about this truck or something. Ah, uh, yeah, he's got a bloody truck. There he has. <laughs> bloody hell, I should see it. No, he's looking good, though. We're doing a good job. i tell you what, Jerry's like bloody... Never mind Batman. He's like Superman as well, he is. <laughs> what do you want me to do, then? i tell you what, head up to me and i got some news for you. OK, I hope it's good. Ah, it's bloody good news. All right, and I'll, I'll come pick you up now. Ah, see you in a bit. See you, mate. Good news. That's what I want to hear. Fingers crossed, that means he's buying me land. 88,500. That's how much they valued it. I think that's fair. It's gone up a little bit, but not much, but still. At least I'm getting more than what I paid for it. Hey up, mate. Bloody hell, that was quick. I, I thought I was going to come get you. Now, nah, bloody waiting for you. <laughs> I could tell. I also noticed you bloody reversed all the way down. Bloody hell, I know what you want. I can tell already. You want to know if I'm going to buy it? I would like to know. I really would. I went to see the house today again with uh, with George, and he actually, he actually really likes it as well. Ah, uh, well, I want to keep you waiting anymore. I would love to buy it off you in Brady. Thousand five hundred. I'm happy to pay for it. Oh, Ross, that has made my day, mate. Honestly, thank you for that. Ah, no worries. Thank you for selling it to me. I don't know if you know, but I'm also buying the the plot behind the pub. Yeah, I know. Jerry just told me. He bloody did. I was going to tell you that. Ah, oh, bloody hell. I know. Well, I spoke to my. I think he just thought you told me. Ah, uh, yeah, I probably should have told you then. Sooner. But no, I want to buy it. All right, and well, when, how quick do you want to do this? Because I've got my stuff on there, you know. Uh, well, buddy, as quick as soon as possible, really. I, I need to get it in so I can, you know, start drawing up plans for what I want to do. Well, I'm happy for it to happen as soon as I can move my equipment whenever. Well, I'll tell you what, then. Right, if you're agreeing to it, we'll, we'll just get the ball rolling. Soon as. All right, mate, yeah, I'm happy with that. I'll, I'll start moving my equipment then. Ah, uh, you may as well, I'll just get it out of the way. I'll do it, Ross, promise you. I'll get it done, soon as. All right, then, no worries. Oh, thanks for that, Ross. Honestly, you don't understand. It means we can put, you know, as soon as that goes through and it's finalised, I can put in an offer. In fact, I could probably put in an offer in before if I know it's going to happen. Well, I got the bloody money. It's not like, you know, it's anything going to happen. So there's no bloody reason why not. You may as well put the offer in. You know, you trust me. I do trust you, yeah. All right, then. I will. I'll speak to Beanie, and I'll uh, we'll come up with a plan. All right, mate. Right, let's go bloody out Jerry out, eh? Yeah. Quickly, I'm just going to go ring Beanie. All right, mate. Hey, old pal, you right? I'm all right, Jerry. Two seconds, mate. Just going to ring Beanie. Okay. Hello? Hey, you are right? Yeah, I'm good, thank you. Are you all right? Yeah, I've just picked up Ross, and I thought I'd let you know he's he's going to buy it. Oh, he is? Oh, that's amazing. I know, and he wants to do it quick, so I told him I'm going to move my stuff out as soon as possible. Okay. Well, what do we have to do next, then? Well, 
to be honest, if he's going to buy it and it's going to happen quick, we could just put an offer in if you want. And go through and then, you know, we've already got our agreement in principle. So, yeah, now that we know we can pay the deposit, we could put in an offer. Oh, yeah, let's do it then. Yeah, I think we should. That's amazing. Honestly, that is amazing. <laughs> Yeah, I think we should do that. We've got our agreement in principle. We can pay for the deposit now. I think we just put in an offer and then hope we get accepted. And then, yeah, this this ain't going linger. Ross is going to get this sorted out because he needs he, he wants the land as soon as so we can plan stuff out. Yeah, that makes sense. I'll tell you what, we'll talk about it later then when you get home. Okay. See you in a bit. See you in a bit. <laughs> yeah. Right, go on then, little boy. <laughs> you sound like George. Well, bloody hell, you've only just got here. You're ringing your messes already. Round right of the thumb. <laughs> no, it's not like Jerry. It, Ross just told me he's going to buy my land, so I I let her know because we really want that house. Oh, well, congratulations then, bloody hell. Well done, Ross. Ah, well, ah, thank you, Scott, really. Perfect, didn't it? Having that across the road, workshop, pub, behind pub, some land. Got to get better than that, can't it? <laughs> Right, what are we doing then? Right, well, what I want you to do is get in this of Echo, right? Head down to Town Store. Town Store? Straight down on the right? Past Keith's on the right? Ah, uh, where are you, Slim? Carry on. Second right after that. Yeah, I know where you mean. What do you want me to do? Just drive there? Do they know I'm coming? Yeah, they know you're coming. There's two, two, two of them you need to pick up for me. All right, and what am I doing then? Where am I tipping it? I'll show you that. Yeah, you've done a good job here. I uh, know we've done all right. It's growing back there already. Hey, this is much better. You've leveled that off really well. I uh, know we've done good, haven't we? Well, I say we. Anyway, bloody Jerry's done this. No, it was a team effort. Right, what I want you to do is I want you to tip it about here for me. Ah, uh, yeah, tip it there, Scroft. All right, and so two two loads tipping there. Oh, that's it. Okay, mate. Right, well, I'll head off then, and I'll, I'll be back, I guess. Yeah, it shouldn't take you too long, thanks, that. And I'll get in dig already. All right, mate. No worries. Should be interesting, shouldn't it? Oh, dear hell. Not bad at all. Swing this around, aren't we? I'm hoping that's enough. Bloody hell, fight! It's been a while since I've driven. A truck, I'll tell you that. Takes a bit of getting used to. Not bad though, Wally. Not bad at all. <laughs> so I've got to pick up two loads of gravel for Jerry to shift about for the Ross. Looks safe enough. I'm alright, George. How about you? Well, I'm alright. Are you with Keith? Oh, I'm, I'm here with him now. Is he alright? Oh, he's bloody doing brilliant, mate. Brilliant. He's just heard some good news. Are they letting him out? Well, they're letting him out tomorrow. <laughs> That's awesome. Bloody hell. It's been a good day then. Two bits of good news. Well, what have you got to tell us? Well, Ross has agreed by that bloody plot of land off me. Oh, bloody hell. Fire. Step closer then. Yeah, hopefully. I think me and Beanie here are going to have a good chat about it tonight, and then, you never know, we might put a bit of an offer in. Oh, buddy, go for it, mate. Go for it. Oh, I'm, I'm dead happy Keith's coming home. I bet he can't wait. No, he says he can't wait. He wants to see farm. <laughs> Has he figured out yet? No, don't know, buddy. 
It's too soon, mate. Too soon. Let him get home first, and then, you know, I'm sure he'll tell us what he wants to do. <laughs> Fair play. I'll let him know that I've done his fields and I've been looking after the cows and the sheep. Well, he already knows. I tell him every day when I come up, I let him know what you've done. He really appreciates it. <laughs> Anytime, mate. Anytime. Oh, well, that's it then. He'll be home tomorrow so you can say hello to him. Yeah, definitely. Definitely, mate. Right, I best go because I think I'm full. I'm going to head back with this gravel. <laughs> All right, yeah, mate. At least I'm not on the road. <laughs> right, and George. See you tomorrow, mate. Uh, see you tomorrow. <laughs> right, I think he's saying, is he? I think I'm full. I think that's it. Let's go steady with this now. Load of gravel in here. Keith's coming home tomorrow. That's great news. It's made my day, that has. Even more. Even more than finding out that Ross is going to buy that land. It's about time Keith comes home. It really is. I'll have to have a good chat with him tomorrow, check in with him. I know George says it's too soon, but I really want to know what he's going to do. Is he going to buy the farm? You know, what's he going to do with all them cows and the sheep and everything? What's his plan? Isn't he sorting out? Watch out, buddy. Coming through with a massive trail load of gravel. <laughs> Brakes don't work very well at the moment. <laughs> uh, Ross is buying me land as well. He's like, put an offer in for that house. It's going well. Really well. <laughs> 